Hello, John Talley here with Partzilla.com. Now, if you work on any machine long enough, eventually you're going to run into a stripped bolt, a broken bolt, a stripped out screw, or in this case, a stripped out Phillips head. And on this particular one, it happens to be on a brake master cylinder. There are a couple of different techniques that I can show you that might be able to extract this one out so we can go ahead and bleed those brakes. Now, do you need to remove it from your machine? No, I just thought it'd be simpler to bring it over to the table. That way you've got complete access to see what I'm doing and see if I'm successful on uh, extracting the screw or not. So let's go ahead and take this, get it tightened down in the vise, and then I can show you the ways that I'm gonna attempt to get that thing out of there. And as you can see, this is our, our damaged screw head. And this happens so easily because the majority of your master cylinder screws like this one, they're made out of aluminum and you put in the wrong size screwdriver, you're not paying attention, or maybe it's corroded a little bit. You put some torque to it and spins it out. And that's exactly what happened here. A little bit too small of a Phillips screwdriver is what did this one in. So for attempt number one, we're gonna use the correct size Phillips screwdriver and put a lot of down pressure on it and see if that lets it go. <sighs> no, now at this point, stop. Don't try it again because if you don't, you're gonna actually damage it where the correct size bit will not remove it. At this point, you need to go to stage two. It's probably one of my favorite tools out there. And this simple device is an impact, a hand impact. With this attachment, you can go with different size Phillips bits that should have a better chance of knocking this loose. Pick one that's gonna fit in there the best. See that one barely rocks? That's what we're after. Now had we taken that original one and put too much effort into it, it would have damaged it, and even this would not have had a chance to extract it. Now these things, they ratchet a little bit, and you want to make sure it's ratcheted all the way to the extraction point. That way when you hit it, it's going to impact it and turn it at the same time. You don't have to put a lot of force turning it, you just put a little bit of pressure against it, just ever so slightly. Now we hit it. We're just looking for one little edge. It only has to bite it that one time to get it to release. There it is. Trust me, you would have never pulled that off with a regular Phillips screwdriver. No way for that to happen. That little guy, probably the favorite tool I've had in the toolbox since I was 13 years old. That is what success looks like. Now, what would I do if that didn't work? Well, your last option would be to drill it out, but there is a specific way you need to do that. You want to pick a small pilot drill inside of the diameter of the actual threads, because we don't want to damage the threads. And basically all we're wanting to do is just drill down a little bit, maybe a quarter of an inch then you come back with a larger drill bit with the same angle as the seat because all we're trying to do is remove the material in this outer area to where you can lift the cap off so you drill with this one first and then finish off with this one and then hopefully you can grab it from the side with a pair of pliers and then extract it. Now, if it's really corroded in there, it's pretty much gonna be game over. You'll have to drill it all the way through and then it's gonna take a fine touch to re-thread this. At that point, you're probably gonna end up replacing it, but I'd still give it a shot. And all I have to do now is go to partzilla.com and order a replacement screw. So what did we learn from all this? Having the right tool makes all the difference. Well, listen, if you need any tools or parts for your machine, why don't you come see us at partzilla.com and we can get you taken care of. If you have any questions or comments, why don't you leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. We just want to say thank you for shopping here with us at Partzilla and we will see you in the next video. Y'all have a great day.